Your web browser has the ability to track everything you do when browsing the internet. Not only that, but your browser is an intermediary between websites and you, meaning they can greatly influence your privacy on websites, as well as sometimes offering more, like anonymity. Today we're going to talk about five of the best desktop browsers that respect user privacy, somewhat in order, but each browser has pros and cons, and specific uses which will be discussed. I will score each browser out of 10, but seriously, don't take it too seriously. There is no major method or protocol behind the scoring, and it's order, so just take it for fun, all right? Let's start with browser five. Safari, it works, it's fine, and Apple has been implementing lots of great stuff recently to protect users when they're browsing, like fingerprint and tracking protection, safeguards against sending too much data to Apple, strict permission access, a privacy respecting suggestion field, and some of the tightest security standards. Like most things Apple, if you're already in the ecosystem with no plans of leaving, this is a pretty good option. Some of the cons, Safari is still rather limited, meaning customization is a bit weak, like with extensions, although this may change soon. Safari is also only available on Apple devices, and Safari is proprietary and closed source outside of WebKit, so if you're someone trying to stick to only open source software, Safari isn't fully open, although the only operating systems that support Safari are also proprietary, so I'm not sure how many people that con really applies to. Out of 10, I'd give Safari a 5 out of 10. It's good, not great, but for an out-of-the-box browser that a lot of people are already using, not bad, Apple. Our fourth browser is Brave. Brave is forked from Chromium, the open source browser powering Chrome. Brave strips a lot of Google and they add their own additional privacy and security precautions. It's fully open source. There's been research showing how little it phones home out of the box. They have been implementing fingerprint randomization, and there are some more advanced tools that utilize things like Tor, and this is all built on Chromium's tight security standards. The best part about Brave is it feels familiar to people already using Chrome, so it's easy to switch your family and friends over, and they'll likely prefer it as it disables ads and trackers out of the box. In terms of cons, Brave's ad and tracker blocker isn't the best in the world, but it's okay for an out-of-the-box solution. BAT, their cryptocurrency and Brave rewards may turn some people away. This is still opt-in and all cryptocurrency related stuff can be disabled entirely from the UI. Third, Brave has had a fair share of scandals, which we've covered, none of which impacted user privacy security, but it could impact trust in the company. From a strict privacy perspective, if you disable the couple things in the settings, you're pretty well off with Brave, and it's still a decent out-of-the-box experience for any platform, with hopefully sync being fixed soon. Gosh, just please, I need it back. We have reviewed Brave more thoroughly if you'd like to check that out. 6 out of 10, why not? Here we are in the top 3, which starts with ungoogled Chromium. This is pretty simple to cover. Chromium is the open source browser, but it still implements some Google tracking out of the box. This is what ungoogled Chromium aims to fix. Ungoogled Chromium strips all Google, meaning there is no tech company tracking anything happening in the browser itself. Out of the box, there's a good argument to be made that Brave may be a better option for you when it comes to website protection, since Brave has tracking, fingerprinting, and ad blocking out of the box. However, ungoogled Chromium is more aimed at people wanting to harden the browser themselves through Chrome flags, some extensions, and some settings toggles. You can make ungoogled Chromium a fantastic option. As for cons, the biggest con is simplicity and convenience. Ungoogled Chromium doesn't auto-update the browser, the extensions, and you have to manually install the extensions. It can be a royal pain in the butt to use. Its privacy score is 7 out of 10. Number two is Firefox. Now, Firefox out of the box isn't actually that great of an option. Its tracking and fingerprinting protection is improving, but still not fantastic. They have telemetry data collection enabled by default. Mozilla has done some past questionable things, and its security model has been questioned, but Firefox really allows users to customize the browser to the extreme, making this great for people who want full control within their browser. For Firefox, we have a couple broader guides as part of Go Incognito talking about how to harden it. Privacy Tools IO goes much deeper into the process, and there are a couple guides on YouTube dedicated to it. Once Firefox is properly configured, I'd put its privacy score at like 7 out of 10 as well. There are pros and cons between ungoogled Chromium and Firefox after they've been fully configured, but they're both great options. 
And now our number one browser for user privacy is the Tor browser. Now, technically Tor is built for anonymity, which is a bit different than privacy, but anonymity can be a powerful tool to improve your overall privacy. The Tor browser aims to blend users together and make them look exactly the same, making it difficult to figure out who each user is. The browser is based on Firefox, but it's ready to go out of the box. You actually shouldn't configure anything outside the basic stronger settings as anything you change in the browser will make you more unique in the crowd, breaking the purpose of Tor being used for anonymity. Outside of the Tor browser itself, you are going to be utilizing Tor, which routes your traffic through nodes around the world, helping anonymize everything you're doing to anyone trying to spy in. This is one of the most robust anonymity networks designed for user protection from the ground up. It really doesn't get better than this, outside maybe using the Tor browser on something even more powerful, like Tails OS or Hunix, which are operating systems designed for anonymity, adding a layer of depth to the Tor browser. Of course, there are cons. First, Tor will be implementing everything to protect you, including blocking JavaScript, which many sites are reliant on. Second, since you're connecting to Tor, many sites may block you altogether, or you might be flagged for suspicious activity and spend five minutes trying to solve a CAPTCHA. It's pretty terrible. Third, Tor is pretty slow, making heavier things like video streaming or file downloads not very fun. Out of 10, I'd give Tor Browser a 9. I don't think anything should get a 10. There's no perfect tool for privacy, but Tor is pretty good, you know? So what's best for you? All of these could be great options. The best part is that you even have options. One of the best things you can do is compartmentalize your digital identities and use cases across different browsers. Push random searches like how you tie a tie through Tor and log into personal accounts on something like a hardened Firefox. Does your personal account not work well in Firefox? Whip out ungoogled Chromium. Oh no, it requires an extension and you don't want to bother with installing it. Open up Brave. The point is you can use more than one browser and reap the benefits of all of them for different uses. Everyone has a different setup, so actually leave your browser setup below. I'd like to see what you do or what you have. Um, I'll leave mine down there as well. I have different setups across my different devices. That's the video. If you like this content, give us a like below, share it with your Chrome normies, and subscribe to catch our future content. Thank you to our patrons who are continually supporting our work, and if you want to support us through other methods, we are on things like Brave Rewards for your users who use Brave. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day. I need a haircut.